Hey everyone, welcome into Total Health Tuesday. My name is Dr. Jake Tucker coming to you with another daily tip on how to keep your health high, especially during this time of crisis. Uh, what I wanted to talk today about is the role of stress and how it creates a deficiency in your immune system. Because when, when you just look at this biologically, when you look at how the adrenals change when your body is under stress, whether it's a per perceived stress, the threat of stress, or a real stress, what actually happens is your body starts to release stress hormones from these glands that sit on top of your kidneys called the adrenal glands. When the adrenal glands are turned on too much over stress, so let's say you spend a period of two or three months where the government's told you that you need to stay away from people because there's this virus out there that might kill you, hypothetically, then it creates this perception that there's a threat that's imminent to your life that's actually going to take your life. And so your body's constantly creating these hormones called cortisol, adrenaline, epinephrine, norepinephrine, noradrenaline, and so on down the list. Well, these hormones are actually really good in a crisis. They'll actually boost your metabolism. They'll actually boost the ability of your body to perform in high stress situations. Athletes rely on these hormones in order to create these world-class feats, the Olympics that they've postponed indefinitely. Athletes rely on these hormones in order to perform at a high level. The problem comes when they run at such a high level for such a long time, they actually start to, pers uh, to suppress your digestive system, system and in turn your immune system because 70% or more of your immune system lies inside of your digestive system. And so what this does overall is it actually creates a environment that makes it more likely for you to be susceptible to these or susceptible to these invaders. And so what we need to do is we need to actually create an environment of peace in order to reduce this stress. We need to have a healthy mindset about what that what's actually going on, knowing that our bodies are fearfully and wonderfully made, and also do the things that are necessary in order to keep your immune system running at a high level. Number one, that would actually be doing things like getting enough sleep on a daily basis. Now, if you're having trouble getting to sleep, we have a supplement here that we call our sleep and mood formula. And I have patient testimony after patient testimony telling me that when they get on this, it actually helps them get to sleep easier and faster. The other thing that we should be doing is getting enough sunshine. And what you get from sunshine is vitamin D3. And vitamin D3 is best absorbed from sunshine. You should be getting about 30 minutes of exposure with your torso fully exposed to the sunlight during the hours of 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., especially on a warm day. Well, it hasn't quite warmed up enough in Nebraska. And so what that equates to in order to get enough vitamin D3 in your life is about five to 10,000 IUs on a daily basis. Now, in winter months, when you have less exposure to the sunshine, that would be closer to 10,000 IUs. That would be two of these capsules. In the summer months, when you are getting that access to sunshine, that drops closer to 5,000 IUs, and that's going to be one of those capsules. So that's one that I take on a daily basis. But then when you are dealing with adrenal fatigue, when you get that wired and tired feeling, it's important to give your adrenal glands the nutrients that it needs. And that comes in the form of these two different supplements. So we have Adrenal Calm, which you take right before bed, and that helps to set up the adrenal glands to calm down and get ready for a good night's sleep and kind of take some of the pressure off your day hormonally. And then the adrenal energy, which should give you that boost in the morning that you need, kind of replace one of those cups of coffee that you may be drinking, or in my case, 10 or 20 cups of coffee as I'm replacing sleep with coffee. It's not a good thing. Sleep is what we need. Sunshine is what we need. Physical fitness activity is what we need. We need to be in an environment that creates peace. We need to look outside of ourselves, look for opportunities to serve and have a greater purpose than just serving ourselves. So I've been Dr. Jake Tucker. I'm glad you tuned in today. Make sure you tune in tomorrow at the same time for another episode of our practical daily tips on how to stay healthy. You guys be blessed, stay healthy this week, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.